Greetings. From a child I dreamed of coming to Alaska and imagined many things. Hiking above the tree line with Denali in the distance. Fulfilled that dream a few weeks ago and another childhood imagination was to be on a secluded beach somewhere in Alaska. Only reached by difficult means far out in the wild with not a soul anywhere to be seen. Today, that dream has been fulfilled. I am here at Salt Three Cove on Kodiak Island. It was very difficult getting out here, about 25 miles, and thankfully I had one of these. Very rough road up and over a mountain pass, down through marshes, numerous river crossings. And now I'm here. Not a soul to be seen. Oh, the majesty of God's creation. Only a fool could say there is no creator. It's a cold day here, but all oh, tis pleasant. I heard a buffalo is grazing just above this hill up here. That's kind of weird. Didn't expect to see that. Let's tromp on up here. Tomorrow we'll leave Kodiak and head back for the mainland. Very soon it's time to pack up and start the drive back to the 48. Not looking forward to this, but uh, it will be an adventure. Hit the streets again in Kodiak yesterday. Took the gospel out to the end of the road at Chiniac. There were a few opportunities. One burly Alaskan was working in the front yard of his very secluded and isolated home out there in Chiniac. We took a gospel tract to him. He said, I'm not much of a believer, but I promise you I'll read this. I consider it a divine appointment at the end of the world. Hopefully God will use it. Yeah, the buffalo are just up over this hill. Ricky and Mr. Roberts are somewhere. Somewhere I know not. There they are. I heard a bison here on Kodiak Island. Didn't expect it. Don't want to get too close. I might uh, get charged and uh, probably would be severely hurt. Perhaps not even to survive, but alas. To live is Christ, to die is gain. Don't underestimate the power of solitude, my friends. There's much of it here in Alaska. I was thinking on the ride over here about a career. Career is a 20th century invention. And it's a pathway to monotony, purposelessness. It's that ever-changing horizon that I seek. That ever-changing horizon that the first believers sought as they fled persecution and took the Gospels to the end of the world. Took the Gospel to the end of the world. I can't even speak correctly because I'm so cold, chilled to the bone. Ah, oh, what a gorgeous place. All is quiet. Well, I'm going to navigate around this point and see if uh, there's something, some other treasure to be found. Until then, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord. The firmament showeth His handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no place where this voice of creation is not heard. But thank God for His special revelation. For the cross. For salvation by grace through faith plus nothing. For the intercession of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit for eternal life, for the coming kingdom of God, when judgment will be meted out and justice served. Oh, it's a wicked world we live in, but I can put those thoughts aside in a place like this. Yes, one day the righteous will rejoice in the judgment. 
to wash his feet in the blood of the wicked so that a man may say, there is a God that judges in the earth. There is a reward to the righteous. It's a long ride back to the road. God go with me. tracks back there. It's been a blast out here today. I don't have to even think about the problems of this troubled world in a place like this. The Lord is good. Stronghold in the day of trouble. And He knoweth them that trust in Him. It's about 20 miles to get out of here. We better get going. See you folks. Here we are stuck in the mud. Trying to get back to the road. It's getting dark. A little concerned. Ricky's got himself here in a pinch. I'm gonna pull this thing out. There they go. Praise the Lord. <sighs> Wild country savoring these moments. I know that weeks from now I'll be sitting in my office back in Vail, North Carolina wishing I could be here. But alas, the scriptures say to, that in whatsoever state we are, there would be content. Contentment shouldn't lie in the transient things of this world, but in the uh, permanence of our justification, our sanctification, and our ultimate glorification in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah.